put into this company. The call is for a four-story apartment fire. Early morning blazes when people are asleep can be the deadliest type of fires. Engine 37 and ladder 26 respond to a four-story apartment fire in the Dorchester section of Boston. Many of the residents were asleep when the fire broke out and still could be in the building. One of the latter's main responsibilities is to search for victims. It's a new and crucial role for Mike Cates. When you're on the track, you're kind of a different frame of mind in some sense. You're popping open doors, and you go to a apartment building, row of 20 doors, that's a lot of work. So you're looking forward to some of the other guys showing up to help out. Fortunately for everyone inside the building, the fire alarms were working properly. Well, this morning, my alarm went off for me to go to work, and the alarm went off, and I kept hearing the fire detector in the hallway. And so um, I just told everybody to get out the building. I knocked on the first floor, and I knocked on the third floor, and made sure everybody got out the building. A neighbor on the second floor, the only thing I heard was her saying, Linda, calling me. She said, get out the building, get out the building. I think she saved my life. I mean, I could be dead. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I need a light right here. The fire started in the basement and rapidly shot through the center of the building. The engine companies went in and quickly put it out. Just as the chief was about to cut us loose, he uh, reassigned us to get back up onto the second floor. Team found some fire rolling up to the wall. So myself, Lieutenant Cobb, uh, Capo Bianco, and Jack Abucci made our way up to the second floor. You can't get in the building without the truck, and you can't put the fire out without the engine. So you need to, you need to work as a team. Trucks going through walls, ceilings, floors, whatever you got to do. And then the engine's right behind you with the hose. Engine 14 was already up there with the hose line but they couldn't access the inside of the wall, so we tore down the wall, the ceilings, and the bathroom, the kitchen area. Mike Cates learns firsthand what it's like to be a truckie. Everything kind of gets smashed up to get into the access of the walls, the ceilings, with that many guys that fast that I almost got too much. We were all packed in that bathroom, demolished, moved on to the kitchen, demolished but that's what you gotta do to get into the walls. You never know where the fire goes, so you have to go chasing it. And if that means opening up walls and ceilings, that's what you gotta do. After two straight hours of hard work, the fire is out. All of the residents are safe, but the building is too damaged to live in. like this, but I know they gotta put the fire out, so they gotta put the holes in to bring the water through to put the fire out. Because I've been in the fire before and I lost everything. And it's like, it's repeating itself again. So it's like oh, I'm just homeless again, again. It's like starting over again, but thank God I still got a job. <sighs> I'm alive, I'm alive. I thank God for that, I'm alive. Anytime you have a fire in a building, it, it's devastating because you could potentially lose memories. It's the yearbook or, or the kids' photos or just the memories of your childhood or your family that are, are the most valuable things. Anytime we go into a fire building, there's always a sense of 
sympathy. We always try to sympathize with the tenants or with the residents. I've made it a point, and I've seen other people do it as well, when we're cleaning up you know, some of the mess, we try to pick up pictures and put them on a mantle. We try to pick up stuff and put it in, in a specific area. The residents and, and the tenants, they tend to appreciate the fact that they can pick up their memories again, and that means a lot to some people. De belevenissen met de mannen van Huntingdon Avenue volgende week maandag, zelfde tijd 6 uur. Na de reclame zijn we aan het werk met Ed China. Hij maakt een Suzuki SJ410 terreinwagen rijklaar. En Mike Brewer moet de wagen weer zien te verkopen in Wheeler Dealers.